coming into the stadium. The tension. Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusale Stadium just to the north of Doha. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Spain versus Poland. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And now they get the ball rolling. Here's the lineup for Spain. Danny Olmo plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And a chance to whip it in here. Lewandowski. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, you might say, taking everyone by surprise, he didn't miss by much. Well, this is all about his technique. The ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal. That's a really good effort. Sergio Busquets. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw in to come. Cash. Well, between 2008 and 2012, Spain were right up there with the very best of international teams. They had their barren spell after that, but you know, Stuart, green shoots of recovery were visible at the last European Championship when they were perhaps unlucky not to make it to the final. You're absolutely right. They've got a manager that likes to bring in the young players. They play a style of football that only Spain can play. They've got some excellent technical players in midfield. They are a team that I think can go all the way. But you have to remember they're in a tough group. Germany and Japan are both very good teams. They're going to have to start this tournament well. Lewandowski. Now was Zielinski. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the... And the keeper got there! And a short corner here. Asensio. Wasteful from Spain. This attack looks highly promising. Oh, good looking run. Not away completely. Well, threat averted. Marco Asensio. Here is Marco Asensio. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Missing the target by a tiny margin. Well, it's a difficult skill to get right, but he almost pulled it off there. He made such good contact with the ball.
Asensio. He's beaten his man. It's there for him. Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Chemisoir Frankowski. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Camille Glick. Mikhoviak. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. And he's in. Surely. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Cash. Lewandowski. We're getting the ball forward. Zielinski. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ferran Torres. Plenty of support here. He's protecting it effectively. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Marco Asensio. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And I wasn't banking on us saying this, but Ferran Torres has struggled to make an impact. Yeah, you're right. He's looked a bit lethargic today. I'd like to see him demanding the ball more, working the defenders harder. And unless he does that, I can't see him affecting the scoreline here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Lewandowski. He continues his run. Zielinski. And they take the lead here. And the pot in the way. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. He's driven in the corner. Well cleared away. And it's Krikoviak. Could be! Oh, good save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Pedri. Could be a chance to break here. Asensio. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Well, attacks are plenty, but now defensive resilience is what's called for. And they know 
know they need to stop him. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Gabby. It did look on for them, but not to be. That's a useful looking attack launched by Marco Asensio. Oh, surely. And begging to be put away. He had to score, and he does. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Frankowski. Szymaniewski, Krychowiak, and it's Krychowiak, well Spain aren't controlling the possession here, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent, they'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment, and the pass not quite accurate enough, and a throw in then, Lewandowski. It's been threaded by Lewandowski. And it all counts for naught. Jordi Alba. Danny Olmo. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Pedri. And back with Morata. Top class defending. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Let's fly here! Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Shimon Zhurkovsky. This is Glick. Zielinski. Zhurkovsky. On the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly. Now well, Rule 2 have taken up an illegal position, only just. And they're making a change. Morata. Danny Olmo with it. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And providing width. Well, relying on the goalkeeper. Well, there's not long left now, but that just about keeps the minute. Elects to go short. Giving it a try. Terrific block. Morata. This could be it. Pivotal moment defensively. Zielinski. On the attack in the closing phase. Oh, showing excellent vision.
Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Soler. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? Soler. Well, tremendous block. And there it is, the full-time whistle. Well, they can't be separated. And goals very much part of the equation. Stuart, as always, interested to get your final analysis. Well, Derek, it was a really good game between two evenly matched teams. Both had their moments, but neither side really deserved to lose this one. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, it was a good comeback, and he played a big part in that. He just kept plugging away, and in the end, he got his reward with the equaliser.